Good morning. Welcome to another day on Cipollite Beach. We stayed here now for a couple of days, but as you guys know, we wanted to go to Huatulco to meet a German guy. And now I'm gonna pack the car, make it ready so we can go. It's like 50 kilometers. It's an easy drive on the 200 on the highway. And yeah, should be two hours, then we are there. After two hours of driving, we arrived at the road we wanted to enter to Huatulco, but this road right to the campground was blocked with, uh, yeah, with some dirt, so we couldn't drive there. That's why we had to go back to the main entrance of the city. There was a little checkpoint where they looked if you have any symptoms for COVID, and after that we have to had to drive all the way through the city to come to the campground. When we arrived it looked really nice and we were really happy because it was green and sunny but then the staff came to us and started talking to us. Buenas tardes. Buenas tardes. Yeah, me too. Yeah. Yeah. Alemania. Sí. Alemania, sí. Alemania. Sí. <laughs> okay, guys, you can see it maybe in my face but we're in Hotoko. We found everything and now we arrived and they said we can't stay. Because of the pandemic, they said nobody's allowed to camp here. So we have a little bit of a problem. We called Stefan, our friend, and he says he has a friend um, who has a restaurant and maybe we can um, stand there for a night till we meet him tomorrow. And then we'll see from there. But first of all, we have to go to Shudrari or some place and fill up water. There must be a Paymax or something, a gas station next to it. So we're gonna do that and then we'll see what happens next. Oh dear, it's getting worse and worse. <laughs> now, we were at that. Um, at the Pemex, ask for water and they would give us three liters of water. That's it. And before we asked the guy on the campground, which is closed, if they can have give us some water. And he said we have to pay for the water, then we said that's no problem, And but he wanted us to pay him too to give us water and we don't want to support that. Yeah, and we're so. a little bit disappointed because, you know, we are in a really bad situation because we can't park anywhere and then they take advantage of it. It's a bit sad, so we're a bit devastated and it's like, ugh, yeah. not... But so we're nice. gonna eat something now and drink something and then we will yeah. see. Something will happen. Yeah, we're standing here at Shadrawi behind it. We found a shady little spot and now we're gonna have something to eat and wait till Stefan <laughs> says maybe we can stay somewhere or he's gonna call and we'll see what happens. So on Saturday it's caught there. Ah, German. That was ah, German. That was German. <laughs> So um, Alex called us, he's Mexican, he's a friend of Stefan and it looks like we maybe can park in front of his house. He just called and said meet us at the end of town because we said why don't you give us your address and he's like it's too complicated you'll never find it. It's like okay, okay we'll meet you then. Yes so we're gonna drive to the end of Huatulco. He has a white car and yeah then we see where we can stand tonight. I think that he will recognize our camper, so... Yes. <laughs> Day two in Hotulco. Behind us, you can see the little restaurant of Alex. He's a friend of Stefan, who let us stay the night in front of his house. 
Yeah, it was really nice and quiet. Nice night. Yeah. Really safe. We could leave the op the window open. We also look could leave the door open for a while. As you can see, we stand here under the trees. Yeah. Yeah, the sun is up. We're gonna go to the city now. We met Stefan yesterday just really quick. Today we want to look for a shop we maybe can rent and check out the city a little bit. But first, we're gonna have to go back this really steep hill over oh there. Oh my goodness, okay, let's do it. Let's do it. After we couldn't find water yesterday here in Huatulco, we are at the uh, Agua station now today and we can buy some water here. It's pretty expensive just to fill up the tank, but yeah, it's better than, than an empty tank. So we fill up 150 liters here and then we drive to the Cetraui and yeah, see what's gonna happen next. It's pretty hot as you can see, it's almost 30 degrees already so it's going to be a really hot day we didn't want to wait in front of the supermarket so long so we drive a little bit and we found a tiny little beach in the south of the city there we waited until stefan called and picked us up to go and look at the shop we are here in a place in huatulco that's possible for rent that's the right side and here is the left side it's pretty open and we like this side more because there is a little house you can close your tools in and everything and also over here if it's empty and clean we could park our car we have sun for the solar and then we would have a nice working space in here all the way I think it's about 15 150 200 square meters 150 square meters and if you make a nicer gate I think it could be really nice so he is checking for the price now and then we see how much the monthly payment would be okay we are back in the car Full of information. Full of information. We just went quick to a carpinteria. He knows the boss and he would hire me too for like 2,500 pesos a week. Would be a six day week, Monday till Saturday from eight till six. And I think 2,600 is about 100 euros. So for weeks that would be 400 euros a month. <laughs> For lots of work, no security, no <laughs> insurance. Nothing. nothing. Um, yeah, just there to work. The place we showed you before we could rent is about 250 euros a month. And that's actually really easy and that's nice. Not so bad, we yeah. could park our camper. We would have our own little place to be. Christian had place to work. It's a shady place and actually quite good. Depends now if he's gonna negotiate with us. Yeah. Um, so yeah, we have a lot to think about. We're gonna go tomorrow again. Yes. And yeah, we have to do a lot of reconsidering, but we're quite surprised. Another day here in Huatulco. Yesterday we checked out the place here with Mario and we want to meet again with him today at 11. It's about in 20 minutes. Then we can go inside. We can see the little house over there. There should be bathrooms and everything. And we want to take some measurements to see how big it really is, to see what we really can do here. And then we want to speak with him about the rental again. And when we have all the information we need, we're going to check out the city a little bit more because we actually like it a lot here. The beaches, the one beach we have seen is nice, but it's not like perfect for us. But there are some more beaches and stuff we, we could look at. 
So that's why we're gonna go to the city later and look at that. But now we make some thoughts about this thing. So our thoughts until now. When you see, take a look at the whole area. This is the right of the area. Over here is the left with the blue wall. Over here, we maybe can make this place more flat and put the car here for long term. And here on the left, as we said, in the house back there is the toilet and everything. And here we could make our working area. The roof is a little small for the raining season, I think. Another thing we're still thinking about, that's the fence. You see, it's pretty broken and pretty run down. So it have to be a new, nice fence have to be here so that you cannot see inside and everything. Somebody have to do that too. And somebody have to pay for it. Another thought we have is maybe it's not even big enough for what we want to do. Because when our big car is over here, then you have maybe like a pickup or something like they have it's over here. Then you need maybe a trailer or something that would be right next to it over here. And then you just have a really small space for walk working. So many things to think about. And yeah, we will see if he comes at 11 or not. We're going to wait. We didn't meet um, met Mario today. He wasn't there. But yeah, we met the owner of the place. And he was a really, really nice guy, really sweet. And um, he said, yeah, yeah, guys, come in, show us the shop, everything and the place that we could rent. And we're quite surprised. He want to have 7000 pesos for the big place mm -hmm. with the little house and 3000 for the other place with the big roof above it. Um, but still, we have to think about some things because we have to do a lot there to make it a nice place to work and to make it look nice. We have to renovate the little house. We have to renovate the toilets. There's still the big problem with the fence in front mm -hmm. who somebody have to do and he was not really willing to talk about that stuff. Yeah. We want to rent it and you do all the work. Yeah, we'll see what possibilities we can do, but it would be able to make a workshop out of it. And there would be even enough space for us to stay there with the car. Yeah. We have to see if it's worth it to live there too, or if we have to check for another place. And that's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna take out a motorbike, drive through the city and look if we can rent another piece of land or an office or something just yeah. to make a quiet space for us. So as you can see behind me, there are a lot of building sites here in Huatulco. The city is growing really, really fast as we think and as, as we have saw in the whole days we are spent here now. They build lots of private houses for private people. They build lots of hotels, lots of restaurants and offices and yeah, everybody's really busy building stuff. So let's go and check out some empty lots. So we drove by these pieces of land here already a day ago or something and we met a really nice Mexican. His name is Mauritius and he um, rented a lot you see now. His lot is really nice. It's 20 by 30 meters. It's really square and nice and he want to build lanchas there because they are pescadores. He gave us the contact to a lady who um, rent out these places here and we spoke to her on her house and she told us this lot here would be for rent too. It's about 20 meters by 30 meters too, but it goes a little bit um, more together in the end. So it's not 20 meters in the back, it's just like 10 meters or something. They would have to remove all the dirt here, but we could stay here with our car, which is really interesting. But the problem is you have to build on your land if you want to have water and electricity. So you have to get rid of your dirt water and you just get these excesses when you build. But we don't want to build. We have our car, it's comfy enough for us to live in it. So we're gonna go to some real estate agents. They are, there's an agency in downtown and we want to find out what do we have to build here to have water and electricity access. But this is actually a pretty nice place. There are some trees and it would be 6,000 pesos a month to rent. That's about 250 euros, about 300 dollars. And it's close to the city center. Everything is close by here. The supermarket, the Shetraui is close by. So it's a pretty good location, we think. And yeah, we will check out some more. And 
ask the real estate, real estate agents, what do we have to build here? We were just in the real estate and talked to the lady and she gave us very interesting information. Yes. She said, if you have a piece of land, you have to build at least 60% of it a house. Yes, that makes not so much sense to us because when you have 2,000 square meters, you have to build at 1,200. Yeah, we, yeah, we still don't know how really the regulations are, but yeah. somehow in this direction, that's, that's it. So if we want to rent the land we just looked at, we have to build a really big house and it doesn't matter if it's 50%, 40 or 60. And that's not what we want. We want to still live in the car because yeah, our car is comfy and we are more flexible with it. Yeah, and yeah, it is for us, maybe also for you guys a lot, bit confusing, but we get all these informations and we got all these opportunities and we also have to sort things for us out. So this is Mexico, this is our life. We're just gonna take it how it comes. And you know what happened guys? We met the other lady from yesterday and she's like, hey, hey I found another piece of land for you guys and it's way bigger and we're like, Okay. It should be five times bigger and there we should not have the problem with the building rules. She said it's a different area from the city where the rules are different and not so strict. So she said we're gonna meet in an hour, um, go there and check it out. So this is the land, it's still full of trees, but she explained us um, you have to keep the big trees and you're not allowed to build five meters from the front and five, five meters from the back but it's huge, it's like 1,300 square meters. Next to it, you can see one without trees. So now we're gonna look at another piece too. Here is 1,300 square meters. Yes. Yeah. I have 50,000 square meters. 50,000. But I can yeah. rent you 500 yes. square yeah. meters. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay, yeah. How many people live in Huatulco? Do you know that? About 50,000. Oh, oh, that's a lot, yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Very years ago, we were 5,000. Oh, 30 years ago, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So do you think there would be a lot of work for carpenter, for a furniture? Lot. and? A lot. If you have, if you ring innovation, you will make it. Okay, yeah. A lot, really. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. And for special carpenter work too? Or? Sure. Now with the developments that are in process, yeah. Yeah. you can make good, good work with them. Puerto Angel is 20 minutes away from here. From here. Okay. And what's the name of the other city? Po Pochulta. Pochutla is Pochutla. the Pochutla. Ah, okay. That's also 20 oh, minutes. Uh, 15 minutes. 15 okay. minutes, yeah. Okay, my land starts here. This is the edge. <laughs> <laughs> we call that part El Palenque. Okay, here I have the many part of piece of land. You are have the ocean there. Yeah. yeah. So we can choose very deceptive codes. So if you use this flat area, yes. you can connect to there. To there, yeah. Mm -hmm. And then from there it goes where? In, in the ground. In the ground. Look at the view, guys. Oh, there is the ocean. Really beautiful. Adobe house. Oh. Wow. Too Very bad nice. But that's, you know, worker lives here, so yeah. they just don't take care. I spent about one million pesos to make this house. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Because I put uh, cementation, foundation. Yeah. But here your worker lives now, in here, in the house. He lives here because yes. he takes care of my property. Yes. So I will rent you the, the land. Yeah. He, but he will stay here because he's a good guard. But you so can walk to the beach or is it too far to walk? If you like to walk, more ocean view here. If you like to, there, up there. Oh yes, yeah. You like to walk, there's the beach. Oh yes, yes. Here I open, I cook the plant. Oh here? It can remain oh. like a museum. Yes. Oh. Yes. This is the oven. We cook 
six tons of, of oh, six uh, pine. Tons. This is the grinder. Here we could we put the copper. Yeah. The the copper pot. Oh, okay. To finish everything. This is the copper pot. Once we distill the first the, the first time, we bring that mezcal for a second time here. Here is the artist. Oh yes, here's the horse. Mm -hmm. <laughs> cool. So that's the way we do it. Are there any animals here, like snakes, scorpions? Sure, we are in that. Oh no, just to know, well, you yes, know, just but you not have not poison snails. They eat yeah. rats. Oh yes, yes. Okay. In Watulco, yeah. they appear. Oh we are yes. In the environment. Yes, yes. But now is uh, winter. Huh? Now it's cold. Uh, cold yes. season. Very cold. Now it's very cold. Yes. So how hot is it here in, in summer, like 40 degrees? 38. 38, 40? Yes. And then it's more dry? Or is it like this the whole in year? July, in July, from May to October, it rains. It rains, so it yeah. it becomes green, totally. Green. Oh, yes. But from here, there is the ocean. You also have. We can make... The, the, as it is big enough, you can decide. Yes, a little drive from the property. It's this huge beach. It's really big. Sometimes you can, uh, how do you say? Surf, yeah, yes. You can surf. Do you know, is there a strong current or is it safe to swim? For good swimmers, it's okay. Yeah. Today is quiet. Yeah, nobody is here. So why did you bought this land? I cleaned it and started to plant agaves in 2006 yeah and I did my first production in 2013 okay I thought when my kids grow they would get involved in the business but they didn't want yeah they just left they left yeah <laughs> so I stopped that project yeah and now I want to retire yes I am tired to work and you know why then don't fix the road? Because they don't want too much people coming yeah, yeah. Come this yes, area. Yeah. Right, yeah. And it is easy to reach a lot of people come here. Yes, yeah. if yeah. they make a, a nice road. Yes. And it gets crowded and everything. Yeah. As you can see, we're back at the beach. Yeah, it was a really exciting day for us. We have seen a lot of things what we were not expecting before we came to Artulco or when we came to Artulco. We want to say a big thank you to Mary and her daughter to take like three hours of time, show us around, even show us her own property and give us so many new perspectives on everything. And a big thank you to Stefan who introduced us to the carpenter and the guy who does the, runs the workshop. And yeah, we have, well, it was so much to take in and we're so filled up and we're so happy that we allowed to see all that stuff. So it would be interesting to know what you guys think about the places we looked at. Please write us in the comments. Mm -hmm. Would be interesting what you think about the lands we looked at or the little place with the roof or the big place with the roof. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, write us in the comments. Would be interesting to, to know what you guys think about. We actually do have a lot of ideas what we could do or what we not want to do, but we'll do that in a different video. Yeah, we're going to stay here in Bahia de San Agustin. It's between Huatulco and Cipolite right in the middle. Um, yeah, we're going to stay here a couple of more days, clear our minds, think and speak about the options and yeah, let you know what we are going to do or not to do. So subscribe to the channel so you don't miss the next video and you don't miss maybe a decision we're going to do. Please leave us a thumbs up if you like the video. And yeah, we're going to see you in the next video. Bye.